Getting rid of Trelaw was the right call. Mason Cox is the most reliable goal kicker, 35 out. Down in the mark rule, I kinda like it. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm doing a AFL unpopular opinions. I went to my Instagram at Kados38 and I asked if you guys had any AFL unpopular opinions that you wanted to share. I've sifted through the replies and I've got a handful for you. So let's get into the video. All right, kicking us off today is a couple of opinions from some young lads from Caleb and Evan saying that Dustin Martin is overrated. I don't believe he is. I think he deserves the hype and more. I can sometimes get a little bit critical of a Dusty and a Fife because they simply do zero defensive work. There's no tackling. There's no pressure. If you want to be a great side, you probably need to run both ways. But in Dusty Martin's case, he doesn't. He can just run forward and impact games really, really positively. But in terms of an unpopular opinion, there'll be a lot of people out there that'll be applauding you blokes. So fair play for being brave. Jolly10 wrote in and said, Mason Cox is the most reliable goal kicker 35 out. I agree. I agree, Jolly. Very unpopular. He is ranked elite in terms of tall forwards according to champion data. Well, champion data's rankings seems to be very unpopular every year, but that is an amazing sort of feat for someone like Mason Cox. But now he's a very, very reliable option down forward, and he's a very, very good kick of the footy. Benny Mac 98 I didn't like Bob Murphy getting a medal. I've got a couple of mates who really harp home that idea. Look, I loved it. At the time, Bev handing his medal over was crazy. I remember going, that is just class. When you do look at it, it was a little bit weird, but this is a 300 gamer captain of your footy club who's done an ACL and he would be in the best 22. If Melbourne somehow make the grand final this year and Nathan Jones is out with an ACL and the ceremony kicks off and Simon Goodwin turns to Jonesy and goes, Jonesy, you deserve this. I will be in tears. I will. That will be the best moment of my life. So if I put it in that sort of context, I'm actually all for it, but I don't mind the unpopular opinion. Guernsey, jam donuts are the best thing to eat at the footy. <sighs> Jeez, they are good. They are up there, Kernsey. If I had to rank them quickly, it would probably be meat pie, chips, and then jam donuts. I'm not a hot dog man, not a burger man. And the jam donuts just hit different, don't they? Dubz has written in and goes, Isaac Rankin is overrated. Great call. That's a great call. I don't want to be the 25-year-old has been uh, nuffy armchair critic, but at times last year, I got irked by Isaac Rankin's hungerness. He was a little bit hungry with the ball. There was times last year I was watching him going, holy f he's, he's amazing. Got all the capabilities to be the best small forward of all time. But he was just a little bit selfish. And I didn't want to voice that opinion because I don't want to, you know, knock a 19 year old who is a jet. But I just felt like that was the case. So I'm hoping he gets that sort of selflessness that a Stevie J or a Cyril at times would get. So I think, is he overrated? I do believe he is, but he's just got everything that suggests he could be the next big thing. Sporty Bond. <laughs> Zach Butters is better than Connor Rosie. Yes, he is. Had a better year last year. Connor Rosie had a better first year, but oh, not by much. Zach Butters is the real deal. Cookson has an eye for talent. Had an eye for Brian Myers. Had an eye for Zachy Butters. So anyone Cookson gets around becomes quite good. Even Yakel Brown. So <laughs> I do agree. Zachy Butters is better than Connor Rosie, but that is an unpopular opinion. There's a lot of Connor Rosie nuffies out there that would, uh, you know, would die for the Rosie machine. Cooper Hosking, friend of the show. Sydney finished above Carlton. I love it. I believe that that is a chance to happen. I think there is a lot of hype for the Blues and I'm not sure it's yet justified. I don't want to be an asshole because I too go for a team that have and has struggled and I am excited for the Blues to become a force because I do love their list but I don't think it's going to happen yet. I do believe Sydney could finish higher than the Blues. I do believe that's a chance and it's a ripping unpopular opinion Coop. Brody. Man of the mark rule. I kind of like it. North Melbourne are better than people think. Not sure about the last one, Brody. <laughs> uh, but the man on the mark rule, controversial. Controversial rule. But I am with you. I am 100% with you. The man on the mark rule is great. I watched the D's take on the Tigers, and the ability to mark and roll off and get off your man and kick long was there. Haven't seen that for years. There was times where teams would kick to the wing and just get stuck because the corralling of the man on the mark was just too OP. But now, you actually have to stand on the mark. It's man on the the mark it's not men moving around off the mark so I like it Jack Tobin another friend of the show 
It says Liam Jones is the most underrated player in the comp, top tier key defender. Yes, yep, genuinely. It's unpopular because when you think Liam Jones, you think absolute spud. Like he was in the Jared Grant categories for a long time, Liam Jones, and now he's a genuine all Australian type defender knocking on the door, could potentially get all Australian before his career ends. Tommy wrote, getting rid of Trelaw was the right call. I don't know. I, well, potentially the right call, but the way it was handled was pretty poor. I guess time will tell with that, Tommy, but that is an unpopular opinion. There's a lot of Collingwood fans I rate that uh, the Trelaw got let go, so we'll see how that plays out. Pletham, 253. Max Gorn is the greatest Ruckman ever. He is one of the greatest Ruckmans of all time. He almost could have had a Brownlow by now. He's broken many rucking records, and he's still 29, so Ruckman seemed to have a few years in them, especially at that height and how fit he is, so I do believe Max Gorn will go down as one of the great rucks of all time. Christian Hogan. Richmond will get knocked out the finals in week one. Massive, massive call. It could happen. It's very hard to stay at the top for that long. If they're thereabouts in the finals though, I see them pinching at least one, but geez, imagine if the Tigers get done and dusted week one of the finals. That would be massive news. Anyway guys, that is it for another video. I appreciate everyone sending in their footy unpopular opinions. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you very, very soon for another video. Cheers.